Friday afternoon, Japan's meteorological agency sees the quake measured magnitude 8.4. The tsunami waves of over 4 meters were observed soon after. In 2011, a triple disaster struck the northeast coast of Japan in the Ring of Fire. An earthquake, a tsunami, and an unprecedented nuclear meltdown. I had a one-year-old son and another on the way, while entire villages were destroyed and families devastated, we survived. But the images I witnessed changed my perception on life forever. They say life is a long song. Resettled in Byron Bay, my life as a journalist and a mother continues. In 2014, a work trip to Peru changed my fate again. Harold Kecklin was my guide. He vivido casi toda mi vida frente al mar, al sur de Lima, y el surf siempre ha sido parte de nuestra cultura en la costa peruana. Nos conecta con el Océano Pacífico, su braveza y el presente. Este estilo de vida me ha llevado a tener un gran respeto y gratitud por mi gente, el océano y la vida. El surfing peruano tiene una larga y fructífera historia. Es de lejos el deporte que más logros ha traído a este país. A pesar de esto, el gobierno no protege nuestras olas y playas. Y somos nosotros los que tenemos que unirnos para lograr que esto suceda. Nuestra misión es traer conciencia acerca del gran valor natural, recreacional y económico de las olas para lograr su protección y que las futuras generaciones las puedan disfrutar como siempre lo hemos hecho. We wander the world in search of moments that leave us speechless. Humbling moments, confronting moments, spontaneous moments. And in these moments, we are left with the choice to retreat or grow. Life's greatest inspiration can be found on the road.
for surfing in faraway lands meant Peru had always been on my travel radar. This was the ultimate surf trip until I was introduced to a kind of tortured paradise that would pull strongly on my core.
Yo vengo al norte peruano desde mediados de los noventas y siempre ha sido para mí el mejor lugar para escaparme a recargar energías. La tierra prometida, con sol todo el año, tubos perfectos, comida deliciosa y la mejor vibra. To truly appreciate Lobitos and how much the land, the sea and the people have endured, we have to look deep inside the rusty pipes and understand its history. Lobitos was a town built by British Petroleum in the early 20th century and the past has not been forgotten by some of the town's elders. Cuando yo era muy joven, Yo vivía en Lobitos. Era un lugar increíble. Bridget Petróleo estaba construyendo muchas casas. Tenía mucho dinero del extranjero. Todo el mundo petrolero pensó que iba a durar para siempre. There are a 
are a staggering 84 oil platforms visible on the Lebedos horizon along this vulnerable ring of fire. Today, the oil is but a trickle of what it was, as our consumer society the world round has gobbled it up. Aging infrastructure, rusted and leaking pipes, and outdated refineries literally hug the coastline. Civil war affected Lebedos in the late 1960s, leaving the old town in ruins. In the 90s, waves were discovered. What started as a few local surfers soon exploded into thousands from all over the world. On one hand, this is fantastic for the future of the town. On the other, it's overburdening the already crippled infrastructure. Es un lugar muy especial que hay que saber valorar, cuidar y respetar. Es por esto que necesitamos unirnos todos para lograr su pronta protección. I had to leave Lebedos with this enormous sense of unfinished business. I'd only scraped the surface and the energy of Lebedos had got under my skin. I've promised so many new friends I'd return one day only to find life get in the way. This time, I knew I had to come back. I returned home and began to share the story of Lebedos with friends. Dustin Hollick and Rian Slap had been there years earlier and were enthused to head back with me to see what we could do to help. I love the rawness of Northern Peru. I was stoked to have the opportunity to go and help. It had been 10 years since I've been to Peru and I was so excited to get back there. With a combined passion to support the preservation of our world's raw surfing playgrounds, the three of us embarked on a journey back to Lebedos a year later to meet Harold and try to be a part of a wave of change.
smiles in your face A lot of water, a lot of water's flowed since Take me home Take Fishermen serve as the eyes and ears of our oceans. In North Peru, traditional fishermen set out for hours before the sun breaks on handmade balsa rafts. Alongside the other smaller boats here that fish the sea by hand, it is a breath of fresh air to witness humans taking only what they need to survive. Unlike many other towns in Peru and South America at large, Labidos shows great hope for the future. With our society so dependent on oil, it's imperative we prolong its depletion and look toward alternative energy resources to power our lives where we can. Peru has the opportunity to tap into abundant natural resources in the north, like sun and wind. Solar energy could power much of Labidos, and wind farms have already sprung up around other towns like Chicama. There are two NGOs established here already. Waves for Development educate the kids through surfing and visual arts, while EcoSwell work at the grassroots level with the goal to make Libidos more sustainable by 2021. When we go to surfing meccas, we go to surf great waves and meet some amazing people. It takes nothing to jump in and say, how can we help? It would be fair to say that Libidos has had a pretty rough life, but the locals are rebuilding. With continued international support, they can turn this into a blueprint for surf villages worldwide. Lobidos enjoys a simplistic lifestyle, and in many ways they consume much less than us in the West. Redevelopment via tourism is great for the people, but it has to be done with care. Peruvian legend surfer Magu de la Rosa Toro, along with scallop farmer Fernando Fernandini and Harold, have joined forces to work on a project called Juntas por la Playas del Norte to protect and rebuild the natural marine ecosystem that's been hit hard. Fernando is even going as far as physically respawning threatened marine life, and the guys aim to have legislation passed as the first step toward creating a world surfing reserve in the Labidos area. The oil, it is running out, but the waves, if protected, they will last forever. Viaja, explora y conoce el mundo, pero hazlo con respeto. Respeto por el lugar, su gente y su cultura. Y si puedes, trata de dejar el lugar mejor de lo que lo encontraste. Juntos es posible. You are something else in me. I'm living in the years. La, da, 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 da. Mm. Open mouths, I've been peace. Unlocking cages. La, da, 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 da. Mm. Slams like a sun spray Morning To the ends of each arm I'm running, I'm running I streak and slams like a sun spray Morning To the ends of each arm
ciencia.